you'll often hear people say that they got fat because their metabolism slowed down once they hit the age 20 or 30 or whatever. Is it a real reason or just an excuse? Today I'm going to look at a paper that examines how our total daily energy expenditure, often shortened to TDEE, changes throughout life. That's the total number of calories that our body burns in one day. Spoiler, children have the highest TDEE for their mass, which gradually slows down as they become an adult. It remains stable until they hit about 60, then begins to slowly decline. How did they measure this? They began with a group of 6,421 people, 64% of which were female. The ages of the group went from 8 days to 95 years of age. Using a variety of techniques, including doubly labeled water, they measure the subject's TDEE. More about doubly labeled water at the end of the video. They adjust the patient's TDEE for their size and plot it at versus age to give graph A. You can see that most people are within 20% of the expected TDEE, especially women. There was more variation with men, perhaps because more of them participate in sports or weightlifting. That last bit is pure speculation, though. If you look at the graph of adjusted basal energy expenditure versus age, we will still see some outliers, especially amongst men. As you might know, basal metabolic rate is the energy your body expends when it's just sitting around keeping you alive. Some people seem to burn 50% more calories a day just keeping themselves alive. Why? Is this a potential medical problem? Or is there something else going on that we don't as yet understand? You can see from the graph that your TDEE is stable through the age of 60, at which point it starts to slowly decline. They note that this is not due to reduced fat-free mass or fat mass. Rather, this is due to reduced physical activity and some organs expending less energy as they age. A scary thought. Could this be part of the reason that older people have more problems because their organs are doing less? Or have their organs simply become more efficient? Definitely something to think about. Back to double-labeled water. This is a strange kind of water. In it, both the hydrogen and oxygen are unusual isotopes. The hydrogen used is almost always deuterium, where the nucleus of the hydrogen contains not just a proton like normal, but also a neutron. The oxygen used is usually oxygen-18, which has two extra neutrons compared to normal. The subject consumes some of this double-labeled water, and after some time, scientists measure what percentage of the carbon dioxide they have released still contains oxygen-18. And in that way, they can know how much total oxygen the person has expelled since drinking the water. The deuterium is used to help calibrate for oxygen lost in other ways, such as sweat or urine. Anyway, to answer our original question... Does your metabolism slow down once you hit the age of 20 or 30? No. Not until you reach the age of 60 can you use that as an excuse. But once you do, go ahead and use that excuse whenever you want. Science supports you.